Life is about taking chances, trying new things, having fun, making mistakes, and learning from it. A very good evening to all the guests and dignitaries present here. With great joy, I feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all of you present on this webinar today on managing emotional well-being from anxiety and mood swings. I, Shilpa Sharma, your host for the day, welcomes you all on behalf of Femleads family. Before I proceed, let me take a brief moment for the introduction of Femleads. Femleads is an initiative of Seems Welfare Foundation which narrates the tales of successful female entrepreneurs with regular workshops and newsletters on women empowerment. Women had not been considered at part with men with respect to opportunities available to them in starting their own business. They are not pre provided no knowledge of setting up and operating as an entrepreneur and are, not con and are considered as inferior since childhood. Femleads is a community of women with motto of engage, evolve, and empower women with dreams so that they can be successful entrepreneurs. Femleads has conducted awareness programs in digital and financial liter literacy, digital marketing, career development in various industries like travel and tourism, construction, retail, finance, apparel, handicraft, food processing across states of Rajasthan, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh, and Uttarakhand impacting the life lives of over 1,000 women. The topic for today's webinar is Managing Emotional Well-Being from Anxiety and Mood Swings by guest Miss Ira Kormem. The world is full of diamonds and gems and we are having one of them today to build this webinar. Ira Kaur, self-love coach, best-selling author, international speaker and wellness consultant. The lady on a mission to make each and every person get connected to self to bring peace, happiness and joy to their lives. She learned various courses like master NLP, life coaching, business coaching, clinical hypotherapy, pranic healing, pranic psychotherapy, cellular healing, soul coaching, and much more. And she followed her passion for jewelry designing and founded her company, Gems of Ira, Fine Healing Gemstone Jewelry. Each piece is customized according to the energy and line alignment of the individual to bring prosperity and abundance. With this note, I would like to give my heartiest welcome to our guest speaker, Ms. Ira Korma. Okay, welcome everyone. And I'm so happy and glad that uh, at least some of the people are able to join in and on time, hopefully. So what is the today's topic? Like, I think it's a part and parcel of our life that uh, managing emotional well-being is something that we all are suffering from, right? Um, this is a common day-to-day -day life and especially with everyone. I think uh, anxiety and uh, managing stress and mood swing are like uh, parcel and life of everyone, every female around. Is it happening with everyone? So whenever I ask you a question, you, you can just comment on the chat box. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So you can keep commenting on the chat box. Like who doesn't have anxiety? <laughs> can, can we answer that? I think that would be a weird question because um, most of the people nowadays like we have one or the another anxiety and if there is no anxiety we have a fear of losing out like the fear of FOMO that oh I'm left behind and that again creates an anxiety within us. <laughs> okay you know I tell you a one uh, very amazing um, case that happened I was taking a session of uh, a person a male he was uh, 54 year old right i was taking his session and uh, he was having conflicts with his wife that why she does that why 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 she, he has all the questions of why she is like that that every moment she keeps changing every moment she says something else and the next day she is something else and during that session i just helped him to tell that you know life of a male and life of a female is different in a way women work in cycles their life actually goes in cycle and male their life is very linear it's very straight so how female are cyclic because that's a big part of your mood swing so when i told him you know that female are cyclic in the sense that they every month they have their menstruation cycle and what happened in the menstruation cycle the part of their hormones goes up and some down like if we know estrogen 
progesterone. So these are testosterone. These are like sometimes it's shooting up and sometimes it's just withdrawing. And this exactly happens to our mood. So female moods can be divided into four weeks. You know that? Does anybody know that before? It can actually be divided into four weeks. One week after the period, she will be like, the world is amazing. We can have party. And the second week, she'll be like, I'm bedazzled. I'm a dazzling woman. Let's like, um, I will achieve everything and let's go for it. And third week, she will become a little bit of kind of very mother nature, very caring, very, you know, possessive. And fourth week, she will be like, uh, uh, not happening. I don't like it. Don't argue with me. It's my way. So all these kinds of comments started happening from a female. Isn't it that you often view or like in your surrounding, you often feel that the woman is doing something like these to you? Because yes, women are cyclic in nature and this happens. I tell you my story. Can I share you my story, everyone? Say yes, if I can. You can chat box, right? Yes. So that I know you are engaged with me. Cool. Thank you. You know what happened in my life journey especially when i was in college everything very high high on emotion high on fly that you know when you come from the school to college you're like wow i just made it and uh, in that moment i was having a good time but suddenly i felt that my group my friend circle ditched me for a party only me and i felt that what's wrong i was being good with everyone that's what i thought but I think that was not enough for everyone. So I tried to gather what exactly happened. How come they ditched me? And they were like, yeah, you're being very uh, creepy and you're being very dominating and you're being like, what? Really? Was I like that? And they're like, uh, uh. so they were even hesitate to tell me <laughs> at that time. I felt that something is in me that I need to level up. That was my first trigger point of my life where actually I felt that something needs to level up in me, that there is something might be I'm going wrong, that I need to level up myself to have a different amazing because I want people to love me. I want people to like me. And I think everybody wants that. Am I right? say yes so this is what life is that we always want to and if nobody likes us we feel not nice we feel emotional we feel that something is missing within us and then at that time you know after that my life was still going on and there come a time when i started gaining weight there come a time when i was feeling more emotional there came a time where my period missed for four months and uh, I was gaining weight and I was getting a uh, little nasty more and more emotional, more sensitive. But for me, I was doing the best. This is what happens. And that was the point when, uh, you know, when I was introduced to meditation that, okay, meditation will help you to balance out your emotions. I was like, okay, let's see, let's do it a little bit. That, yeah, I felt better, but of course not that great because you can imagine if a woman doesn't have periods for four months, her body hormones are completely haywire. But at that time I went to doctor and saw the doctor and doctor told me, you look pretty normal than other women who actually doesn't have periods for four months. They are hell creepy. I was like, really? I'm better. I was like, happy I'm better because I, yes, what you're doing. Like I was just meditating and exercise started with a little bit of exercises. So at that moment, I was able to manage my emotional stress, emotional well-being. At that time, I only knew about the work of meditation that that will help me and little exercises at that moment. But right now I can tell you many other ways. <laughs> so that was a low point that low triggered happened in me and that moment i was started to okay but still i have to make myself better i have to lose weight and then what more i tried i started more rigorous workout i started healing myself i started regular meditation i had panchakarma i had body massages i had learned self-help technique that will help me to manage my emotion chaos 
and i also learned how to communicate you know as we grow in our life we were never taught how to have an effective communication a communication which is non-violent a communication which is non-verbal violent also if you know um like for example shilpa just asked me how are you ma'am and i said yeah how are you ma'am i said yeah i'm fine what did i do i just communicated it with a very cold i'm fine it was violent communication and okay shilpa asked me again how are you ma'am what did i do i created non verbal violence so these are the way that we actually do in our daily life and we never recognize it and it is important to recognize that how we are communicating with people because we love people and we want people to love us so it is important to hold ourselves back learn different things different ideas which can actually help us know who you are how you are why you are why you behave in a certain way and this is how we like i have been working so much to learn more and more about myself and i've gone so far that from my very rude way of talking from very like uh, unable to manage my emotional self from anxiety from mood swing to something today that i feel very content in myself happy healthy and amazing and with this power i really looking forward to all of you who are attending today that if i can do it you can also everybody can do it if we just know the right ways if we just know the right technique to do it and it makes a life very easy and simple so how many people here today are ready with me to learn few new things about yourself that can help you manage your emotions manage your anxiety and mood swing how many are there just say yes 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 i am with you just type in the chat box i'm with you cool neel thank you so much for being there with me <laughs> akira thank you akira for being there ritesh thank you shilpa gaurav you know uh, it is not only about the women i will say it is about the men also to know that why women behave like that and why because you have to deal with women all the time you have your wife your mother your children your elders your co-partner your co-workers women are everywhere you cannot run away from them <laughs> you can actually also know how to manage women in those kind of time when she is struggling and it will become your life easy so everybody with me thank you all for me nalvan shrohit thank you for there with me you know today i will just teach you simple breathing patterns like if you can remember or if you just see yourself what happens when you have an anxiety anxiety could be of fear anxiety could be of nervousness anxiety could be of anything what happens when you are having anxiety first thing that you will notice about worried yes of course you can be have anxiety for anything first thing you will notice about anxiety is your breath your breath will become very shallow yes can you everybody can see that how's your breath right now is it your breath shallow or deep or normal what do you think like okay let's check in uh, 10 seconds how many time you breathe okay your time starts now just watch your breath in 10 seconds how many times you breathe i'm watching the watch so you can tell me breathe is inhale and exhale okay time up So right how many time you had a breath inhale and exhale in 10 seconds 3 okay and rest of the rest of the other people do right 4 to 5 times okay 5 cool 4 to 5 times great 5 to 6 okay more more right yes yes 4 to 5 times okay good i'm liking it 9 times in 10 seconds your breath 9 times amazing 5 times okay okay cool So if you notice that the uh, average breath people were doing uh, was four to five times per ten seconds, right? And uh, that's what you call normal, right? And that's what I call shallow breathing. If you will see that if you are breathing this much, definitely you will loosen up your lifespan also, and you are already in anxiety. You know, average breath if for a good healthy person is fourteen. times maximum 14 times per minute and for extraordinary very healthy person is 7 
breath per minute and even if you talk about the yogi and saints and everyone they have like one breath per minute and that's normal like even if you see uh people who are like um what you say uh in swimming when they are swimming they have to elongate their breath so they practice on breath right because when they practice on breath that helps them calm down that helps them to go for long okay i will come to you that uh, for that Gaurav. so this happens so you need to just work on your breath and the moment you will start working on your breath you will see how your anxiety level is calmed down so even Gaurav or neil every time you will see that whenever you are in anxiety your breath is just very shallow and four to five times is very shallow so for bringing your breath in calmness we can do certain breathing exercise that will help you relax and when we will do you will see yourself that how easily you calmed yourself down and trust me Gaurav you know um, anxiety doesn't happen in one day it can give it can show you visible result in like okay on this day it happened bang but actually it is the piled up every time you are piling up your emotion you're piling up things which are going in the back of your mind and one day when it reached the optimum level you decline completely and one time it is like um, uh, even when you are highly anxiety in anxiety you are not able to sleep also because you are not able to calm your down, yourself down so every moment everything your breath will tell you so what we need to practice is watch your breath first normalize your breath you know uh, a person cannot be angry if the breath is like seven eight uh, times per minute you know a person cannot be angry for an angry person the breath has to go up become very shallow to like um, 30 40 breaths per minute because it will make you hyperactive so once you start learning to manage your breath it will not only calm your anxiety it will actually help you breathe properly it will actually help you have a healthy life it will help you to improve your health in many areas you will start having better sleep you will start understanding the concept also quickly your body will make your like your mind won't be feeling dizzy. like how many people get up in the morning and they are completely fresh and away like okay my eyes open at like uh, 6 30 a.m i open my eyes and i'm like okay good day i'm awake completely or you are dragging yourself oh no another few minutes i need another few minutes snooze and then you're dragging and then you're finding your coffee or tea to wake yourself up and then still dragging to have a bath and still dragging to go to college or to your work how many have that kind of uh, uh, problem say yes yes every day okay yes you know why why it is happening it is not only anxiety it is about the body system is not functioning properly it's about the blood circulation is not proper it's about body is having so much of toxic within it is about your gut is not clean mostly every day and, and i really feel that you know nobody should drag themselves you should like have a good morning every day and it feels good i am telling you i have been there at your place i have been there in your shoes before and i know it can change i know really very well it can change simple technique simple method if you start applying it it will change your life okay let's uh, let's talk about the uh, uh like first is the breathing we will go to the breathing we will do some exercises to make you feel of it uh, before that i'm just telling you three points to consider and start living by it that will help you in every moment of your life okay understand whenever you are tired tired whenever you're feeling not healthy and somebody tell you some work at that moment what happens how you feel that right it how do you feel that do you feel irritated do you feel frustrated and that's actually helps you start a new conversational fight of that why i have to do it why i'm hell why i'm in this world why i have to do so much of labor work so much of work can't ever get rid of it yes frustrated yeah exactly i can completely understand that and why frustrated you know 
because you are tired, because you have no energy left within you. And emotional well-being is one important cause of because you don't have any energy. You are tired. You are um, not working in your full potential. You are not able to actually work in your full potential. The life that you are living is not normal. We have made it a new normal. Of course, I agree with that. Because it's like uh, once everybody around is like that, yeah, it is normal. Oh, you have that problem. Even I have been having sleepless night. Yeah, it's normal then. Oh, you had a, like fearful dreams. Oh, I, I had it too. It's normal. Oh, I was, I need to have uh, that medicine every in few, every few days I start having headache. Yeah, that's normal. I think that's part of life now. That's not normal. Not at all. You're just coping with it. And why you are coping with it? Because you don't know what to do. You know, our education system have taught us everything, the ways how to earn money or how to be, I will say, a skill labor. But our education system doesn't tell us that how we can have a healthy, happy life. Okay, let's let's understand what's happening in this today world. You know, if you see in a bigger picture, who created Saturday, Sunday are off? Who created that anyways? It's a big picture if you see. It's like Monday to Friday, you work hard, you earn money. And Saturday, Sunday, it is given time so that you spend that money. Because if you didn't spend that money, why will you work more? Why will you work hard again? So it's a vicious cycle that everybody has to be get trapped into. And that's how economy will work. So you work hard and you spend that money. Then you have more adaptation to more luxury life. So you spend more. So you have to work more harder. And this is how your life goes on and on and on. And in that time, you always think, yeah, let me earn everything. Let me have enough money. And then later on, when I will retire, I will have good life. I will enjoy all my life with all the money I have. And what happened at that time when you are actually able to uh, retire? You get a heart stroke, you get good pills of the hospitals and you are on many pills already. This is what's happening. If you don't take care of your life now, what will happen later is also you are responsible of it. So what I was telling you about the second thing was clearing your bowel movement. Very important. If you are constipated, your body will produce more toxic. And if the body has more toxic, it means it will again cause a lot of emotional disturbance. It will create a lot of anxiety again. So check how's your tummy. Because the food that we are eating right now is so junk. You know, I hope everybody know what junk is. Junk is something that we don't use and we just throw over. Literal meaning of junk. <laughs> and we actually eat that. So how our stomach healthy gonna be? You need to have a lot of fibers in your body to have a good healthy gut system. Because if you have a good healthy gut system, when you clean your stomach every day, you will feel a lot of relaxed. And to heal your gut system, it's like it takes at least six months to bring it back to normal, regular, free-flowing, happy days of your life. So are you constipated? Because that will affect the life that you live okay i help you understand what constipation is also you know um sometimes people say no i go every day so it's not constipation definitely constipation doesn't mean that just going every day it also means complete cleaning of your bowel because if your bowel is not completely clean even little bit which is left will actually make you bloat will actually keep on making you bloat you know that uh, like for example i give you um your uh, intestine is long right it's like long curve intestine there is small intestine large intestine and when the food is processed like from your stomach it goes to your intestine and intestine has its own lining so sometimes the food is stuck in the lining just on the lining and the main part is clean but the lining still have like leftovers leftovers leftover it's just like uh, imagine um like in a food bar area where you cook in one of your dish uh, like karai pan okay <laughs> let's talk about pan when you cook something on a pan on a regular basis and you don't wash it what happens the pan form a thick black layer on it right and the layer is getting thicker and thicker and thicker day by day so this is exactly happened to your intestine and what happens 
when your intestine is getting layered thicker 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 it got your colon system gets small and then you start having more problems so cleaning your intestine is very important so once uh, i would say uh, in a month twice or month go for laxative clean your gut system so that you will know what it is to like be actually completely empty and that definitely impacts your mindset it is like if i'm constipation my uh, constipated my ideas are also constipated <laughs> my creative flow is not happening much so and uh, once you're constipated some gastric also start happening into the body which uh, actually helps you uh, like your yeah, the air element the gastric if goes in any part of your body the body start aching so any aches in your body is basically because of the gas also it's like the air which is traveling inside your body so very important element to manage your anxiety and well-being and your emotional clean your gut system well i know how many have ever thought of it that this could be connected <laughs> or it's completely new to you it's the right new exactly even i didn't knew that before so i worked on it and i really saw the result myself that's why i'm telling you guys and the third way is self hug hugging yourself now how come hugging yourself can help you bring down your anxiety and emotional level i'll tell you how you know it's a psychological reason also that uh, once you hug yourself like your left hand goes towards your right and your right towards your left it makes our body it makes our mind thinks that somebody else is holding you and it makes or give the feeling of support and warmth to you especially when we are living in this virtual world so much where we are not able to interact with people so much or get the human touch we feel the lack of it and when we don't get it we feel emotional about it and when we are emotional about it then you talk to me i'll be very creepy to you this is what exact happened so to get the emotional touch is very important and when you're not able to get from outside help yourself this is all about helping yourself and it is important but there is one more twist i will tell you how exactly to do the self hug and you will realize that this specially helps to clean the toxics in the body also actually it helps you clean your lymphatic system because I, it is taken from a certain uh, practices in which way you do it and uh, it helps you okay let i'll give you um this area of your body they are lymph nodes right lymph nodes help the lymph fluid to travel in your body and like take the toxins from your body and expel it out expel it out to the spleen right so when the lymph nodes are functioning properly the lymph fluids travel better and helps you expel out or excrete more of toxins out of your body so let's do with me just hold uh, one hand under arm like and your thumb should be front do it with me and the another hand thumb towards the front and your both the arms inside can you do it with me right now let's do it together shilpa are you doing it yeah. okay so hold yes and now we're going to breathe for 36 times together okay make your breath normal and deep okay so i will be counting like at least let's do for 2 uh, minutes I'll be counting, or you can count your breath yourself, and just feel your breath and try to slow it down further. Okay, and do thirty-six breaths. So you can close your eyes and just feel your breath. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. 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 Just be aware of your breath. Inhale and exhale. 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 Keep continuing it for 2 minutes at least and be aware of your breath. Make your breath deep. and slow inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale okay normalize your breath normalize yourself how was it tell me your experience how do you feel now calm thank you neel how is everybody feeling now right please do write in the comment little relax good very relax relax now everybody write it up so that i know you are there related okay i think relaxed <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, cool. So what happened? Just two minutes of deep breathing and in a particular posture which is i call self-hug it just made you relax isn't it amazing i think is it difficult to do this practice every day just before walking to something important in your life especially before the exam <laughs> you can do it for five minutes especially before sleeping yeah this will help you in your day-to-day -day life and this is what i call self-love hug you know, that's what I say. Of course, in just one hour, I cannot teach you everything which I have learned and experienced. But yes, they are, there is a lot more. I will tell you that when I was in college, I felt like why nobody told me before that there is self-development something and we can learn it. At my time, there was nothing. We actually had to search so much for it, go to different places. There was no virtual world like this before. But you guys have so much to do, so much you can do right now in this present moment because you deserve that happiness. You deserve that awakened state of yours every time. You deserve to live happy. You deserve to live healthy. It's your birthright. Come on, go grab it. Nobody is coming, uh, going, uh, going to give you, oh, please come, here is your health right, grab it. Nobody is going to give you that. You have to take responsibility of yours. That's why as a self-love coach, I always guide everyone that take responsibility of your life. Anything that you don't like about yourself, like I don't like if I'm inconsistent, I don't like if I'm not disciplined, I want to make that like myself, consistent, disciplined, active. I will work on it. If I'll wait that somebody will come and push me to do it, not happening. That could be a good dream, of course, good hope, but won't happen. In the end, it's only you. You have to take full responsibility of your life, grab yourself and to move ahead that yes, I will do it for myself. And once you start Having this idea very clear that I have to do it, nobody else is going to do it, your life will be much sorted. <laughs> it would be very clear then. Okay, it's only you who have to do it, right? So now I will tell you one more breathing exercise that will really help you calm your emotions down. You want to learn it? Say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cool, great. So um, it's very simple and do it with me. It will really help you relax your emotions very quickly okay so what you have to do is keep your hands straight in front of you yeah like on your shoulder level completely straight and then you're gonna pull it right and while pulling it you're gonna exhale it like this then bring it front again and you're gonna do this 30 times okay let's do it together start let's start it and do it together one four five exhale Exhale from your nose strongly. Seven, eight, nine. Exhale from your nose strongly. Nose. Don't get tired. Keep doing it. Yes, you can do it 30 times. Do it. Exhale strongly from your nose. Relax. Close your eyes and just be aware of your breath. Sit back and just relax. Sit back and just relax. Feel your breath. Feel yourself. Just relax. Keep your eyes closed to feel your body movement. Feel the energy of the movement inside your body. Feel the pulsation inside your body. And relax. How do you feel about it now? Comment me on the message below. How do you feel now? I have a boost of energy. That's good. Fine. What more do you feel? Great. What more? Comment. Who all? Well, like how it made you feel? More relaxed? More energetic? Cool. Good. Oh, great. That's great. So see, just simple exercise, how great it made you feel. And if you do this on a regular basis, you will feel the difference. You will see the difference in you. Automatically, your anxiety will drop down. You will have better sleep. You will have better appetite. You will feel good about yourself you will feel amazing 
Are we ready to take the ownership of our life? Are you ready to take out time for your life, for your health, which matters? Because your health pulls you down in your life. It gives speed breakers. It helps you see those kinds of situations which you never wanted to. So grab your life. Do those four breathing exercises every day and you will feel the difference. And I would love to like see your comments there that how different you feel about it how it changed your life right and do subscribe the channel because i'll be putting more content in there and that will actually help you manage your life better are you ready for that comment how did you like this class especially on the youtube comment how did you like this class do you want to have more of these kinds of workshop which will help you develop yourself because in today's world just having good numbers in your exam doesn't solve your purpose you gotta be all rounder you gotta have that enthusiasm you gotta have that power you gotta have that potential capabilities to roll over to move ahead in life you need to have that communication skills you need to have that amazing persona that everybody wants to connect with you and of course you definitely want to have a good partner whether it's girlfriend or boyfriend you want to attract the right partner in your life who can multiply like uh, uh, like partnership would be like making one or one like 11 not only two <laughs> so attract the right person in your life for that just start developing yourself because the more developed the more smart you are you're gonna attract the more smarter person and you'll be able to actually see more clearly in your life you will have better clarity you will have better decision making so managing emotional would be just like one aspect there would be so many different aspects of your life and yes everybody in the group do write me like what more you want to learn about like one said how to attract that's a good thing exactly once what you want to attract a girlfriend or money <laughs> or a job <laughs> what exactly you want to attract <laughs> so do comment what you want to learn more so that we can come up with other workshops right more workshop coming in which can actually tell you more about how to develop yourself you know imagine yourself like a raw diamond you all are diamond trust me on that you all are diamond but the diamond shine comes when it is gone through a lot of cut and polish so like every cut that you give to a diamond it shine so multiple cuts are there like you know in diamond there are 57 cuts 57 cuts upper cuts and the lower cuts like on the girdle and the pavilion there are a lot of cuts there why diamond is shiny the more the cut and polish the more shiny it is so you are like a diamond the more cut is like the more uh, different aspects of life you learn experiment about yourself you will get more shiny more brighter so keep learning life is an endless process of learning keep developing yourself because as you develop as you learn you will keep shining your shine will become more brighter brighter and brighter i uh, everybody wants to shine bright right that's my motto i love making people shine from inside and out how to manage uh, with the workload and to handle our stress definitely naman just start doing the uh, breathing exercises that i have given you that will really help you to manage stress like every day if you do that breathing exercise your stress level will keep decreasing yeah uh I have received one query that yeah. I feel sad and frustrated all the time uh, and I fear to trust anyone now and share anything to anyone because people change and aren't trustworthy. So how to deal with this? Okay. The thing is, there is a one person you really need to trust is you yourself. So if you are not trusting yourself, definitely you cannot trust anyone else. And the thing is, the... Uh, you know that why exactly you need to trust other people you should know how to manage everything well i give an example hmm? like even in the top of the uh, companies or even in the small companies what we say politics office politics or or this it's nothing it's just pure business it is like if i am useful you will never leave me if i'm not useful you will chuck me out so you have to show your potential every time and even interesting it is like if you want to trust me that's your 
complete your uh, uh, desire to trust me. I'm not even asking you to trust me. The one person that you really should trust is yourself. Make yourself strength because this is the reality of life. Trust me or not, you need to be useful to have the community, to the society, to everything. You need to be useful. You need to bring your value out. People who have their value, who feel they are worth it, are on the top. Who people who don't feel their value, who don't feel that they are worth it, they never rise that ladder. So you, you need to increase your strength, your potential, your capability. Thank you, Shilpa. I think everybody's asking for feedback form now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay cool okay okay last time everyone thank you for connecting uh, with me today it was lovely meeting you all and um, i'm a self-love coach and i help you maintain a self-love lifestyle that will help you a longer run in your life to be healthy happy smarter <laughs> and efficient so in life journey hopefully we'll meet again Till then, do connect with me on Insta, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you are, so that something or the other, you are keep learning and growing in your life, right? So welcome and everybody can share this uh, YouTube link with their friends and family members also, so that you are contributing, contributing to other in others' life also, to bring that healthy feeling in others' life, right? Thank you so much, Shilpa. Thank you, SEMS Foundation. Love to be here. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, ma'am, for this really, very informative session. The webinar was really, very amazing and hope all the participants learned a lot from this webinar. And I would like to thank you, ma'am, for giving us your valuable time. A good event never ends in the world. They just take a pause, keep us awaiting for the next. All good things eventually end. And I consider everyone as fortunate that they became part of this webinar, which was full of knowledge and which makes us to say goodbye.